this business of going from 33 degrees to 75 degrees in a day's time is rough, ain't it, baby? She was digging that cold weather. She got up this morning and the temperatures were in the 70s. She chased a few deers around. And now she's like, man, it's hot. And laying down there in that water. Hey, everybody. Gold Steel Bill here coming to you from out at the farm. How y'all doing today? I got a little favorite with us today. Uh, <laughs> my range is shot, <laughs> literally. But uh, we're going to shoot at that little target over there for a little bit. We're going to talk about a couple of revolvers that have really gained popularity over the last five to six years. And it's starting to sprinkle rain. Actually, it's gone from sprinkling rain to it starting to rain. Hmm. All righty. Well, y'all hang on. Well, that wasn't even hardly worth getting in the truck over. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I sat down in the truck and closed the door and rolled up the windows, it quit raining. <clears throat> but it'll probably do that the rest of the day off and on. So, anyhow, like I was telling you earlier, Cold Steel Bill here, we're out at the farm, and we're going to look at a couple of revolvers and do a little bit of shooting, and that's about it. Short video. Alright, so what are we talking about today? This is the Taurus Model 605. Alright, both of these are. This is the um, Protector Poly, and this one is the Defender. I wish I still had my stainless one to show you, but I don't, and that's kind of irrelevant. This is my everyday carry, okay? Um, I, the stainless steel one that I had was my everyday carry until I got this one, and damn it, it is fixing to start raining again. Well, I'm going to power through it. They need cleaning anyway. So anyhow, over the last few years, the Taurus 605 has really become a very popular handgun for two reasons. Number one, it's small. It makes a very convenient everyday carry. It conceals well. And also of the price range. And you're talking about a 357 as well as a 38. So you get two in one, which is always a good thing in my personal opinion. I like multi-caliber guns. Um... But with that said, this thing right here, like I said, has become my everyday carry. I shoot it. I've shot probably a good 15, 1600 rounds through it. Um, this one, I probably haven't shot a box through of it because it's a new gun. I haven't had it very long at all. Yeah, I just, I just, the only reason I bought it, I guess, is because I wanted another 605. Um, had I been able to find the stainless steel one, I would have got it, but this is what was available. So, you know, what the heck, you know, can't ever have enough, right? That one might get lost one day. This one might get lost. You don't, you got to have two. Uh, okay. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're just simply going to shoot. I'm going to put you up in the tripod and we're going to go down here and um, just shoot, man. I'm going to put my GoPro up down there. And put it on uh, what <laughs> what it considers to be high speed. There won't be any sound with it, but at least you know we'll see some uh, targets go bling. All right, love you, mean it. Y'all hang on. All right. Well, it appears that I left the GoPro at the house, so we won't be getting any target shots off the GoPro. Or maybe we will have some target shots. We've already looked at the guns. We've already talked about the guns. So why not bring the camera down here? Okay. Like I said, we're going to be shooting these targets down here. And I'm going to be shooting... There's quail. Quail poopy. All right, I'm going to be shooting back up there from where the truck's at. I'm about oh, 25, 28 yards from the target. This is what I'm going to be shooting. These are Winchester 148 ground jacketed hollow points. And I'm first going to shoot them. There, if I get, I'm first going to shoot them out of my uh, Taurus Model 605 Protector Poly. Yes, it is loaded. Okay. There's a million videos on this thing, so I won't get into it. I, I think I did one comparing the weights to them and all, but it's a while back. I don't remember if I kept it or got rid of it. 
and of course the Fort Taurus 605 the Defender okay so y'all give me a second to get back up the hill let me find out if the falling gods are with me or not today okay first the protector poly the defender. These guns must have a crooked barrel. Try this again. Protect your poly. Defender. Those last rounds I shot were hand loads, 158 grain spear, semi-jacketed hollow points, uh, very hot 38s. They were you know, pretty much right in the neighborhood of 357s. But obviously my revolver likes them a little bit better than they do those Winchesters. Plus the fact that, yes, I am a crap shot. All right, well, here we go, the last couple of shots. Oh, the delay fire. My hammer struck. And there was a millisecond delay between the hammer falling and uh, the primer igniting the powder or the primer igniting period. Uh, something to watch out for when you're doing hand loads. Your primers in time will age on you and uh, they might result in what in the military we call a hang fire. I didn't see these four rounds laying up there. These are those Winchesters. Let me see if I can hit anything with them now. Good, while we go. Still can't. Truthfully, this is how this gun should be shot. You shitting me? from it and I missed it. Maybe truthfully that isn't the way it should be shot. Maybe you should hit shit with it when you shoot it. I guess I'm going to have to give me some like number four bird shot for them. <laughs> Alright everybody that's it. Cold Steel Bill here coming to you from out at the farm. I have uh, displayed my absolute perfect professional ability to completely miss the target for you today. But I did want to uh, showcase the Taurus Model 605. 
Again, this is the Defender and this is the Protector Poly. And this is my everyday carry. And in it, I use these 38 specials. Um, I forget who they're by. But they use Starline Brass, so they got it going on. All right. Au revoir, mi amigos. Adios. Bye.